good morning cardano army it's your boy Boomin coming at you with yet another video guys go ahead and hit that subscribe button that like button and that notification bell so you never miss an update we got these update this updates daily you don't want to miss them got my hot tea and honey locked and loaded ready to go let's get this show started and if you guys have not been living under a rock just kidding if you did not know we have an explosive update from ada midnight it is a privacy chain on Cardano. I don't have to tell you why this is big, but I'm going to tell you anyway. Privacy is extremely important, especially in countries that are, you know, not really the greatest for liberty. Um, being able to store, move, uh, transfer funds in a private manner is extremely important. Um, especially for crypto and what crypto is designed for. So Charles Hoskinson posted this yesterday. Hello, Midnight. Welcome to Cardano. Designed for developers, built for humanity. And this is a privacy side chain on Cardano. Pretty awesome. Let's dive into it. Big news. Um, remember, Scott's Fest IO is currently going on right now. Uh, a lot more updates hopefully to come soon. So let's get right into it midnight will be a data protection based blockchain that safeguards sensitive commercial and personal data fundamental freedoms of association commerce and expression for developers companies and individuals midnight will enable developers to quickly build and deploy data protection first dApps using many programming languages starting with typescript while companies will be able to share mission critical information without the fear of leaks or censorship individuals will be able to safely share their sensitive information when operating in a connected world all right so you can sign up to learn more about midnight if you'd like to i'm gonna go ahead and retweet this but chances are you've probably already seen it um let's dive in more um this is pretty awesome guys um so again it, it's a data protection based blockchain so if you wanted to store your medical records on there, if you wanted to, um, you know, store your personal information like your ID, your passport, things like that on the blockchain so that only you can see it. And so, for example, let me give you an example. Let's just say you're applying for a job and you send your resume off to a company. What if their company gets hacked? And all their records get stolen now your work history your address your phone number is all taken but with something like midnight you can connect to the midnight blockchain share that information privately and reduce the risk of getting that information leaked from data breaches okay they're also coming out with a new token as well called the dust token i don't know the tokenomics of that right now but the token is named dust um so let's read a little bit more midnight empowers enables and safeguards midnight empowers developers to quickly build and deploy confidentially based dApps while using many programming languages midnight enables companies to store mission and store and share mission critical uh information without compromising data access Midnight allows individuals to safeguard their personal information when operating in a connected world. Um, definitely awesome. And then once this got released, of course, <laughs> people aren't too happy about the competition. Shout out to Daniel Friedman here. Ladies and gentlemen, I present you. I present to you how to take a highly respected project and make it look like a salty FUD muffin shit coin all in one tweet <laughs> way to alienate one of the largest crypto communities with lies and FUD Monero pathetic now Monero didn't just attack us out of the blue all right but I will show you what they said here I like Monero I, I like what they stand for you know privacy coin the government hates them 
Well, here's what Monero wrote. Use Cardano Midnight if you want to use a privacy blockchain with a back door. <laughs> use Monero if you want actual privacy without the shenanigans. Shame on you, IOHK. Now, we got a little bit of a, <laughs> a pissing contest between... Um, between projects a privacy coin with a back door is dead on arrival if monero loses to this garbage the community deserves to lose man shots fired bro shots fired uh i believe they deleted the comment obviously they deleted the comment um but you know shots are definitely fired now they didn't just attack cardano out of the blue charles did make a little starky comment here let's take a look at what charles had to say I'll never forget it. We were in Malta, and uh, you know, I was eating at this lovely Sicilian restaurant. And I loved it so much. I ate there three. It was great. Sorry about that, guys. My doggo decided to bark at the other doggos outside. So let's go ahead and redo this. I'll never forget it. We were in Malta, and uh, you know, I was eating at this lovely Sicilian restaurant. And I loved it so much. I ate there three times. The third time, I got food poisoning. But the second time. It was great. And we were talking about the need for privacy. And we looked at Monero and Zcash and all these other things, and we're like, ah, oh, fuck those guys. We could do so much better. And we're like, yeah. And I said, wouldn't it be cool if, you know, we, we started working on this? And we said, yeah, okay. So we had been drinking a little bit. So he had been drinking, and uh, he said, F Monero. <laughs> I mean, you know, probably wouldn't have said that, but. You know, I'm pretty sure they'll shake hands and we could grow together on this. I mean, pretty sure that Charles does have respect for Monero and, and Zcash. So, you know, let's let's calm down. Cooler heads will prevail. Let's work together, collaborate. We need more collaboration together. So, you know, I just thought it was pretty <laughs> out of the blue that Monero would attack Cardano, but, you know, it is what it is. Can't, uh, can't ha release something without a little bit of drama. You know, it just makes it more interesting. And then finally, guys, real quick before we do the wrap-up here, Emergo, if you missed yesterday's video, go ahead and take a look. Cardano's releasing a new stable coin called USDA. First fully fiat-backed regulatory compliance stablecoin on the Cardano ecosystem. Still no word for about Jed, guys. I have not heard any new news about Jed or when it's coming out or, or anything like that. So, you know, once I get that info, I will uh, keep you guys abreast on that. But for now, um, you know, we have USDA. This is going to be coming out in Q1 2023. So... A few short months. Um, Anazans is fueled by Cardano and designed to safeguard Web3 companies and consumers from the crypto market. USADA leverages the stability of the US dollar combined with Cardano's security, low fees, and equal friendly blockchain. The new USDA uh, from Anazans official is offering locks in the value of, of investors' crypto assets by pegging one-to-one -one US dollar, reducing volatility, and are lacking fast global transactions without legacy banking and payment infrastructure delays. Amergo has partnered with regulatory financial services company based in the United States to custody cash deposits, assuring stablecoin is fully compliant and adheres to regulatory guidelines. Now, we need to make sure that this stablecoin is backed fully one-to-one -one to prevent bank runs and to prevent what happened with FTX. Okay, let's listen to our risk management teams. Let's not get avaricious. <laughs> um, so shout out to Mergo for doing this. Um, and then finally, guys, let's take a look here. We've got the Scott Fest uh, Age of Voltaire Day One wrap up. Let's go ahead and play it. It's about a minute and forty seconds long. I love you guys. Let's keep chopping wood. It's a great day. Can't wait to see what other updates come out of IOHK. The Cardano ecosystem is one of the most passionate, driven, and accomplished in the world, and the fastest growing. We've come to Edinburgh in beautiful Scotland, home of Input Outputs Blockchain Lab, to celebrate that, to look back at what's been built, and to look ahead to what's coming with the age of Voltaire, and to make some exciting new announcements. 
Today, we heard from Professor Aglos Kias and some of his research team. They shared news on how IO is deepening its links with this world-leading university, including a new endowment and $4.5 million research hub aimed at accelerating the development of blockchain technology. We also announced a new lab dedicated to zero-knowledge protocol research, a technology seen by many as the future of blockchain confidentiality. Professor Kias announced the Edinburgh Decentralization Index. This groundbreaking first aims to set new standards for the industry through an independent research-based methodology to determine the decentralization level of blockchain projects. Plus, we heard the latest on input endorsers, a technology designed to bring unrivaled scalability to Cardano. Charles's afternoon keynote looked back at the Cardano journey so far and looked forward to the age of Voltaire and the creation of a new member-based organization to unlock the full potential of the incredible community building the Cardano ecosystem. And in a surprise announcement, Charles revealed Midnight, a new blockchain designed to protect sensitive commercial and personal data. We closed the day with some projects building on Cardano, including SeaWorld, Empower, Immunify Life, World Mobile, and Coty. If you couldn't join us today for the live stream, you'll find all the content right here on YouTube. And we've got another full day ahead of us tomorrow with more on Midnight, the MBO, Marlowe, Lace Wallet, African Real Fi, Plutus, Possessia, and much, much more. Join us then. Beautiful, guys. All right. I look forward to talking to you guys tomorrow about all the cool updates occurring. Let's continue to chop wood, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Love you guys. Bye. Thank you for tuning in and watching daily VeChain and Cardano videos on Satoshi Boomin channel. I want to say a wonderful shout out to our wonderful Patreons here. Maryland for Crypto, Anthony Andrews, Farooz Din, Kyle Bocci, CryptoSVT.SI, Angeltopia, DNC Vale, Leon Jackson, the second, Kragen, Allflare LLC, Lucky Sunshine Token, and Catherine Braun. Guys, let's keep chopping wood. Don't let your means be dreams. And thank you so much for your wonderful Patreon support.